Hello guys, good morning. Um, this tutorial, um, I want to show you how to create um, database from your cPanel and upload SQL file, which is database file on your PHP MyAdmin. Now, first you log into your cPanel and you go to the database uh, section. Click on My SQL Databases. Okay. Now first we need to create a database name which is um, demo. This is the database name. First you copy this. You copy this. Um, let's say database name. Then come back. Then you create a database username. Let's say um, demo user. Then you generate a password. Okay. Click on I have copied this password. So let's now use the password. Now let's create a user. So now paste this as well. Username has been generated. Now click on this username. Paste data is username. Now all this information is what you will use to connect your database file on your PHP on your PHP script or the config file, the config.php on your PHP script. So now we need to add to be able to to connect. We need to add this user to the database. So now this is the database we just created. This is the user, and this is the database name. You can see. Then you click on add. Then when you click on add, you need to you need to um you need to click on this all privileges you know to be able to work perfectly on the server now you've you've granted all um all these assets now click on make changes as you can see now we cannot we cannot now the next thing to do now is um the next thing to do now is um now that we've created the database name so now let's click on php my admin on this php my admin this is where you upload your sql file this is where you upload your sql file as you can see you click on the database you can have unlimited database on your C panel depending on on the plan you have now click, click on this and um, click on imports which let me put it in English I'm sorry for this um, let me put it in English so that you can understand I must say on Angular okay okay then you click on the database this database then you click imports so just import the sql file on your on your computer so now the sql file okay, let me just upload one of my sql file so let's I want, to upload, I want to upload this to my database so that it can work with my scripts so now this is where this is where all the information on your on your, home, on your website is stored the username and password and all that 
this is what they have stored as you can see it is a table account table address the transaction and users so this is how to connect your database to your scripts so now the next thing to do now is um, all these informations you're going to edit them on your config.php or your database.php so on your script you find a place where you can place these three information and let's let i forget the the host the host will be local hosts so don't forget that so thank you for watching this video